Hey everyone, so this is a video to help people who are struggling with getting Android Studio working with GitHub integration for use in team projects. I'm definitely not a master on this, but I'll show you how we did it for our project uh, in CS401 at CSU East Bay. So we started by making a fresh GitHub repo. Um, I'll just call this test repo. And let's go ahead and keep it completely empty, change nothing. It should be public, and um, we're just going to not have a readme here. So we'll create a repo. And it's done. It's set up. Let's go ahead and copy that link so we have that for later. So let's go into Android Studio now and make a new project. Uh, let's just make a generic one. We can call this uh, test video. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see, I'm going to make a folder on the desktop. We'll call it test video. And just for now, we'll throw everything in there. Uh, we can go ahead and finish. And so now we have our, sorry, here it is. We have our new app, uh, very basic. I can go ahead and just make a really quick little change. Um, This is just, so we have something that distinguishes this from the base activity. Um, so now that we have uh, our project, you can theoretically set up a bunch of stuff here, that's fine. But just for this basic example, we'll go ahead and enable version control using Git. And now that we have that going, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this in the Git bash terminal. Uh, I don't like using Android Studio's Git controls. I just find that there's more. It's, it, I, I know what I'm doing more if I'm using the terminal itself. So I use the Git bash terminal. I like it. It kind of simulates a Linux environment, which I'm more used to when it comes to working with Git. So in here, I'll go ahead and navigate. Um, sorry, I'll navigate to uh, my desktop. Where was that? There you go. And then we'll head into this repo we just made. So you can see I was sort of bouncing around until I found that directory. Um, and you see here that we see master. This shows us that we are in the highest level directory. So, you know, the desktop doesn't have this. And then when I go into test video, I do see this. So this shows that I'm in the right directory. You want the highest level in this directory structure because we want to upload the entire project. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and if we do a quick get status, you can see nothing is added yet. So we'll go ahead and add everything, the entire project. You just using git add period, period says this directory that will add everything. So from here we can do our first commit. And now that that's done, we want to use that repo link to add a remote that we're linking to this local. So we have a local GitHub repo. We want to link this to our external one so we say git remote add origin and we'll go ahead and paste that link that i copied earlier this is the link from uh, my github repo that i got from here so we'll go ahead and um, and add that remote and we'll verify that we are in the right spot git remote dash v um, so from here we can do our first push, git push origin master. This is going to push our uh, project that we made now to the GitHub repo that we created in the beginning in its entirety. It's been pushed now. Um, if I go check out GitHub, um, if we go to test repo itself, you can see we now have everything here. Um, your directory, if you're following along, should look pretty much almost exactly like this, very similar. So if you have Gradle integration and everything working right, it should look similar. Um, and I should have noted in the beginning, it's important that everybody is on the same version of Android Studio and Gradle. I'm not sure that it matters so much, but just to be safe, it's a good idea when you open Android Studio to go ahead and go help check for updates. And it'll, well, it'll guide you through. If you have plugins that are out of date, it'll probably recommend you upgrade those. So try to have everyone on the same version of Android Studio and on the same version of Gradle. Might not make a difference, but it might. So just so we have that. And just to demonstrate that this works, 
we'll go ahead. So this is these are instructions that I've given so far for the person who's creating the repo. So for the other members in their group, they're going to instead import a project from version control. So they're going to, if they want to pull down, basically they want to help work with this. So we're going to go ahead and let's, so we have in our desktop, our test video repo. Let's make another one. This is going to be a pull test. So this is going to be a test for everyone else who didn't create the repo. They're going to go ahead and use their directory, you know, wh wherever they want to put the project. And here where it asks for the URL, we can go ahead and throw down that same URL. Let's go ahead and clone into that, which will take a second. Um, I'll go ahead and open in a new window and give this a second. You can see Gradle is still chugging along. Unsupported modules detected. Yeah, this is, I don't know. I don't know what this little warning is about. It looks like it's freaking out. Um, but in my experience, if you just wait a little bit, it'll sort of figure itself out. So if we go here into Android, we're in the right directory. Let's go ahead and open up main activity. You can see that we've now properly pulled down our project exactly how it was from our original one. We have this log message that I made. And, um, and yeah, from here, I should be able to make my own pulls and pushes. And I just recommend um, trying to not have two people working on like the same area at the same time because it can get a little bit hairy trying to pull and push when people are working on the same like class. So a good recommendation is to start by like making all your activities and just make them basic stubs more or less and try to get that working first because if you have that navigation working then you can have different people come in and work on different parts and it won't be such a pain when you're trying to you know pull and push and, and merge and things like that um, so hopefully this helped someone out there who was struggling um, i can go ahead and throw down a, a maybe a link or something in the description um, that i used to initially help me it's pretty much the same information uh, or a lot of the similar information so um, good luck everyone